We announced Pony to Uta. Uh, are you going to work on your, your pronunciations to, to uh, coach up the freshmen? <laughs> no, he, he's a phenomenal kid. You know, you get to talk to him, you get to meet him, you get to talk to his family. And, and what a tremendous young man. I've been uh, blessed to work with a ton of Polynesians out on the West Coast. And, uh, and I'm really excited to have this big Tongan, which will be a difference maker in this conference. Uh, he, he'll be one of the few in the MAC conference. But we're excited about him. He's a big, strong kid now. Played a ton of defense. We'll be moving him to the offensive side of the ball. But you talk about a big, athletic kid with the intangibles, the traits that, that you really value in your program. He has those. He came onto your list really late as well. And obviously, I mean, Johnny Curtis would have coached him in high school. Yep. Uh, when did he pop up on the radar and how? Well, you know, he's kind of always been on the radar. When, when you talk about a signing class and a class where you're going to take a full class, it's all about the numbers. So we had two tackles uh, um, in Curtis Blackwell and Jake McKenzie that we were really high on. And when it came down to it, we, we felt like it's best to add another big interior offense lineman that can play guard and tackle. So um, we had been in contact and communication. And when the numbers came down to the final week, we decided that it would be the best in the best interest of our program to bring up a kid like that. You mentioned Curtis Blackwell, and if you look at recruiting rankings, he's one of the, the higher-rated recruits in your class, a guy who got uh, a lot of interest, a lot of offers from other schools. What impressed you, what stood out to you about Blackwell, and, and what excites you about his future? You know, once again, it's those intangibles uh, that you talk about, the, the traits that you value, and comes in at over six foot five inches, comes in over 300 pounds, and, and I've got to know this kid over the last year, and you've seen a kid develop. You've seen a kid, his body has transformed, and that's what you want. You want athletic people in the offensive line world. You look at our run game this year, we ran the outside zone as much as any other play in the run game, and, and he has a kid, he's a kid that has the range to do it. He can cut off, he can reach people, and, and add on that he's physical is just even better. Well, let's talk about one guy whose name we have not called out on the show yet, but we can talk about him because he's already here. He's in for spring. Uh, his name is Jake McKenzie. He's a recruit locally out of Heritage Christian down in Indianapolis. Talk about what he brings to the table and what it's been like having him here already. You know, he's, he's another kid. Uh, you talk about the athletic trait that he possesses, and, and it really excites me. And, and his recruiting story is a little bit different than most. You know, we stayed in contact all spring, and basically I followed his progression last spring in 2016. And he came to camp, and he – literally earned his scholarship because I said, you know, I want to, I want you to come to camp and show us what you got. And, and uh, he did, and he impressed us. And another kid that can play tackle, potentially play guard, but he's over six foot three and a half. He's 280 pounds, long, extremely long arms. And those are the things, being at the next, in the professional level, you know, you talk about numbers and traits and those things, he possesses that. He would be at the combine with a lot of numbers that would match up with the best and the best. That's a good place to start. We, we were talking off the air, 43 pancakes as a <laughs> senior. That's a lot, no? Yeah. No, that is. I, I'm excited. That's that's really well. You get four or five a game, especially in their system, you're, you're doing pretty well. And, and, and that's the thing I love is I want to finish guys in the run game. You know, that that's a pure example of, of finishing the play, finishing the block, and having a, um, a, a mentality to and, take over the and game. for those who don't know, a pancake is. Can you define that for us? A pancake is when you're it's a blocking, flat pastry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I love them at breakfast. Let's <laughs> let's uh, let's be honest. But it's when you're dry blocking, a run blocking a um, defender, and you literally run block him to his back, and you put him on his back, and then you know a pancake at the restaurant is nice, <laughs> fluffy, flowery. You put um, syrup on syrup, it. Syrup. Yeah. Extra butter. I mean, it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to go from there. Uh, Kyle Devan, thanks for joining us, man. Oh, I appreciate it. My favorite quote from this guy, by the way, he doesn't coach fat people, he coaches big athletes. I love it. That's what we are.